A new study has revealed there's a 10% chance of at least one person being hit by falling space debris in the next decade. Just last week, a meteor lit up the skies across the lower North Island. And while daytime space light shows are rare, they're likely to happen more often as Earth's orbit becomes more littered with space debris. So just how serious is the risk? Joining us now is Josh Auraki, an astronomy educator at Auckland's Stardome Observatory. Kia ora, Josh. We appreciate your time on the programme. The first thing I need to ask you is do you and I need to be wearing hard hats to work every day? How much of a risk is this from happening? Kia ora. Um, yeah, it's not as scary as it may seem. I'm definitely not going to be reaching for the hard hat anytime <laughs> soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, there is a lot of stuff in orbit above the Earth. Um, there's thousands and thousands of satellites and there's even more pieces of space debris. Um, so this is, you know, old defunct satellites, um, pieces of rockets that are not working. Um, and there is, of course, always going to be that risk of that stuff falling to the Earth. Um, but the chances of that happening in a, you know, happening in a neighbourhood near you um, is extremely, extremely slim. Um, you know, you're more, you're more likely to be struck by lightning than you are being hit by a piece of space debris. Mm. As you say, there are thousands of pieces of space debris uh, in the atmosphere. What is all this stuff and where does it come from? Yeah, so most of this, well, essentially all of it has come from satellite launches. So, you know, as we've been launching things since the space age, essentially, we've been putting all these things up. So old satellites, um, a lot of them are not working anymore. Um, but those rockets that are actually taking those satellites into orbit, um, part of those rockets often stay in space. And then there's also lots of other little random bits. There's been pits of debris that, you know, astronauts have thrown off from the space station. Um, but anything in space that's considered space debris can be something as small as, you know, a little flick of paint from a rocker, for example. Um, but the danger with all these objects is that, of course, they're all moving extremely fast, um, you know, several times faster than a bullet. So that really high velocity is where the danger comes from from all of these objects. Mm. It would seem to some people that we're littering space like we are the Earth. Are there laws to control how much space junk can be out there or, you know, any repercussions for people that put space junk out there? Yeah, I mean, Ed, we really are littering the space above us, but it's a little bit of a grey area because, you know, a lot of countries, um, you know, when you're launching things into space, you're usually bound by the laws from that country. So if you're launching from the United States, they will have different regulations and laws about what you can launch and when you can launch. Um, but, you know, let's say that you didn't like their rules. If you went to another country and launched from them, they're going to have completely different rules. Um, now, that doesn't really work because, of course, we're not just sending things into the space above that one country. We're sending things into orbit, which is the entire Earth. Um, so it is a little bit of a grey area. We don't often have... There's not really a lot of laws um, pertaining as to who can put what in space or how much things can go into space. Um, we didn't really think of this during the space age, but it's, it's obviously much more of an issue now because, um, you know, now we have companies uh, making mega constellations of satellites where they're sending thousands of different satellites into orbit. So um, it's not really regulated, but it absolutely needs to be. Just very quickly before we go, Josh, are there any parts of the world that are more risk uh, at risk rather than others? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say overly. Um, it's I would say to anyone who might be, you know, worried about the chance of space debris, um, the chances are extremely slim. And I think you've also got to remember that, you know, 70% of the Earth is water. So it's ocean, it's uninhabited. And even of that, you know, 30% landmass, most of us live in cities and highly concentrated areas. Um, so the chance of something falling to Earth, uh, then that falling near you and then it actually hitting you is extremely slim. So there's nowhere that's more dangerous than somewhere else, but the risk is just extremely slim. So I wouldn't be losing sleep over it. We can put the hard hats away. Josh Aldecki from Auckland Stardome Observatory. Josh, thank you very much. Hold well